Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my Sims 4 video about how to remove packs from your repair queue when your repair is stuck or very slow. Now this is only applicable for Windows because for Mac, only base game is repaired. I will link to the article by Bluebell Flora down below if you want to know more about that. Now, obviously you want to trigger a start of a repair. So I right mouse click and then hit repair. And so that will bring up down here in your bottom corner, the uh, details essentially that it's repairing. So now what you need to do is you need to click on the little arrow there and it'll bring everything up in the queue. I keep bringing the task manager up so that you can see right now it's not actually taking too much of my CPU and I have my recording software going there, which is also taking some of my CPU. So everything is going okay. And I usually find that it's reasonably quick for the basic game repair and even a few packs. So if you know there are certain packs you want to have repaired, you will definitely want to leave those ones in your queue. So, but what I would do here is just to remove them from your queue, you just cross them off. You just X them out. Now, if you're, you got to the point where everything is like sticking and it's really, really slow and it's taking over your whole computer and all of your CPU, it can take longer to X these out because I've had that experience. This is only new for me. This has only been an issue since after the October game update, the October 2020 game update. So yeah, so you can see it, it's already moved on to the next one. And for me, I usually find I can get maybe up to six or seven and it's done in a reasonable time. After the October game update, I let it repair everything and it took hours, <laughs> hours and hours because I didn't realize to do this or, you know, what was going on. And to try and resolve it, I have done a few things. I've like uninstalled and reinstalled Origin which you can also do just to cancel the whole repair. Cause the issue is if it's taking a long time and you just restart your computer, it will come up and uh, just start the repair all over again, which of course you don't really want. This is the way, one of the easier ways and you can still get some repairing done. That's the whole point. You can just cancel the repair, but then you don't get anything repaired. But by just going through and clearing things from your queue, then things work better. So I'm gonna leave a few in there, but you can see now that the uh, it is taking like, pretty much the rest of my CPU and it probably will stay there for the rest of the time. And we are at seven. So I'm going to go through and make sure I delete everything else except for the one that is in there right now. As you can see, this one seems to be stuck and is taking a while, but I'm going to let it finish repairing this particular one. And then I will be back to show you one more thing. So everything is now finished repairing that I had left in the queue for the repair. And you can see that even though it's finished, it's still using, you know, a lot of my CPU. It hasn't gone down to, you know, zero or a very low amount. So what I do to help with that is I just go into Origin and I make sure I exit. So now that I have reopened Origin, you can see that the usage of my CPU is zero and it should stay there or are very close to there. So then you're good to go and you can go in and play your game. Let me know in a comment down below if you have any questions, but that's going to be it for this video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge, let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much.